Pinus. Yeah, because they're in fascicles. They're in fascicles. Okay. And this has how many? Next thing you always got to do is how many? There are twos. What else you got that's two? Uh, Virginia. 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 So what else do you want to say about it? They're long, they're long and not twisted. Okay, good. Long and not twisted. So this is Austrian pine. So you're writing the, the uh, fact sheet. Austrian pine, needles, in twos, long, not twisted. And then you have Virginia, twos, short, twisted, nice and clear, right? That's really all you got to know because you only got these ones. But let me show you a few other things because you're going to get a bunch of pines by the time we're, we're all done. Uh, they, are, they are long, uh, but you're going to get longleaf pine, which is like three times that. And you'll see why they call it that longleaf because they're like that. <laughs> now, what you want to do is pull off a set of needles. Okay, get a set of needles. <coughs> Go ahead. Get a set and bend them, fold them, <coughs> and see if they will break cleanly in two. I mean, you can thrash them apart, but if you just bend them, they stay together, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, just make a note of that, because later we'll do red pine. Red pine is in twos. Red pine's about exactly this length, but when you bend red pine, they'll snap cleanly in two. You'll get uh, two, you know, two pieces. These will not snap cleanly in two. That's, that's a good thing for later. You don't have to worry about it right now. Now, as you walk up, like back up, just kind of, what, do you, what would you say about the buds, you know, as you come up? You know, like, what's the first thing that hits you? Whitish? Yeah, I would put that down. There they are. They're kind of whitish, whitish buds. That's good, because red pine's not, red pine's kind of reddish buds. So there's a good bit of white on them. And they kind of, you'll see two kinds. There'll be a bud that will sort of look like, I think, Christmas tree twinkle lights. And that's a little fat. But then you'll get some that are real fat, looking for, it kind of looks like a Hershey kiss. Yeah, that, there you go. That's what I said, there's gotta be one somewhere. Kind of look like a Hershey kiss. Yeah. When you see these fat, chubby ones, they literally are fat. <coughs> They're full of male pollen cones at the bottom. They'll burst out of there in the spring. So they're literally sort of a flower bud in a sense. In a sense. A little pollen bud. Conifers, technically, you don't have flowers, but we'll call them flowers. Okay? We can let get a botanist get all upset. <laughs> yeah, have a stomp and fit and stuff. So when you see the Hershey Kiss ones, those are going to be a lot of pollen cones in there. And you'll, you'll, you'll see both. Uh, the cone, let's take a look at the cone. Here's a little bit. Uh, they're, they're fairly... Uh, large. There was one on the ground as I was walking. It's right down there. At your, whoop, right. There's another one. Right there. Yeah, your, your foot. You literally got to keep dragging. Yeah. Uh, they're they're about the size of a large egg. They're bigger than or not regular egg. You know, bigger than Virginia pine. And if you feel as we pass it around, you kind of got to get your skin kind of caught on it. They're they're armed. You remember what that means? But there you'll be like they are. It's barely, but it's there. You can. You can you can feel it. Uh, red pine's unarmed, so I'm making these red pine comparisons. You see all the brown needles, gray, kind of gray brown. As a matter of fact, it's a it's a bad fungal needle cast. And you shouldn't be able to see through those trees. They actually are known as Austrian black pine. It's so dense. This one's still pretty good. It would be almost black inside in the interior, and they're not really <coughs> planting this anymore. That I, I haven't, I, I don't know of a recently planted one in a long time on campus. Uh, I don't, I, I, like in 10 years probably, I don't know of one because they know that has that problem. Uh, so whether you're going to like see them much in your future, I don't know. Uh, if you go to Europe and Eurasia, there, that's where they're at.